carefully check that this screw is not too cranial. I have good bone here and that the proximal screw is not too close to the joint. If you're happy, you go ahead and fix, uh, you fix the plate. I usually like to have an assistant hole, uh, doing it. And it's important when I fix it distally now to fix the plate uh, in the center of the bone. Remember that the shape uh, of, of this plate uh, allow to optimize the position both proximally and distally. If I'm happy about the position, uh, I can go ahead uh, and cut uh, the K-wire a little shorter. The first uh, screw that we are drilling is the most uh, proximal screw of the distal fragment. And we want to place this screw in a loaded position. But we're not going to tighten it all the way down. This screw is going to provide uh, more stability to the plate. These are self-tapping screws. Again, as you can see, I'm not going to tighten it all the way down. I generally start uh, from the cranial hole and maybe go to the most caudal one. So right now, you can see I'm measuring about uh, 24, 24, 25. So based on the measurement, uh, I would get uh, a 28. So right now, I'm measuring again uh, 24. So I will get another 28. In the proximal locking screws, uh, uh, you don't really have always to add uh, two millimeters, yeah, especially in the most uh, caudal screws. Uh, I may not want to have them too prominent, especially the proximal one, uh, so I would not add uh, two millimeters. At this point, uh, we have two good proximal screws, uh, and as you can see here, in a relatively small fragment, it may be difficult to place the, the most uh, proximal one uh, because of the jig. So the next step uh, for me now is to remove uh, the distal K wire and then tighten down uh, the compression screw. I'm measuring right now 14, uh, so I would go with an, an 18. So now we're ready to remove uh, the jig, remove uh, the K wire, and place the last uh, two screws. When I drill this screw, I want to be 100% sure that I'm not in the joint. So I like to actually feel where the fibular head is on the other side, and I want to feel where my drill bit exit. Because ideally, the drill bit should exit just distal and the cranial to the fibular head. Right now, I'm measuring 26. I can feel the drill bit, and it's safe. So I can go on. Uh, and what I would probably do in this case, I would go with a 28. Uh, so instead of adding 4 millimeter in the most proximal one, uh, I would add only 2 millimeter. So we're done. Uh, we're going to tighten this screw, this last one. And we're going to check uh, all of the other screws. And the TPLO is completed. OK, regarding the closure, I want to be sure that we cover the plate uh, very meticulously and carefully. So you can see that we have nice fascia that we dissected right here. And I'm going to close the fascia on the edge uh, of the fascia cranially. And of course, I start uh, my closure right where I did my exposure behind the patella and progress all the way here.